Ada for cashing out, enjoying life, and not giving anything to daughter? Burner account because too much personal on the main. I, F57, lost my husband of 25 years, last year. We have a daughter, 24, who's been married for two years. My son passed away after her marriage, and it has been hell ever since. Our relationship with our daughter was very good, and without any incidents before her marriage. She was sweet and loving and was a great daughter overall. She got married to the man of her choice, S.I.L., son-in-law. After that, it has all gone downhill. She stopped coming to our house, stopped responding to our texts and calls, going almost in sea. We weren't rich, and although my husband had a lot of assets, they hadn't been liquidated. When he died, he didn't leave a will, because it was so unexpected. After his death, my dear daughter didn't even attend his funeral, or in any other functions. She didn't even call to ask how I was. Barely six months after my hubby's passing, she and Sill barged into our house and brought with them a lawyer, who told me to sign some documents and a blank sheet. I know the legal processes and am not ignorant. I asked her what was in that docs. I don't know what I did, but here she was, demanding me to sign some unknown docs and a blank sheet and not answering any questions. I asked the lawyer what it was about. He said it was for transferring all the assets in her and Sill's name. I said no. Here it got violent. She attacked me and I had to scream for help. I didn't call the cops but told her to get out before I did. She was adamant about me signing and tried to take my thumb impression. At this point, my neighbors had come over and had witnessed pretty much the last part of forcing. My neighbor, bless his heart, physically kicked them out. After this, I was shaken and very hurt. I don't know what I did and I was honestly scared for my life. She kept sending me messages, not threatening because maybe her lawyer told her so. She kept on sending sweet messages, thanking me for making her the beneficiary, transferring all assets to her, etc. I was disgusted. A week of harassment later, I decided I had enough. I wanted out. So I met my lawyer, and he said since there was no will, I was the sole owner of all assets and could do as I wished. Long story short, I sold everything, made eight figures, and bought a new house in a place I'd always wanted to be, far from everyone. Now I plan to enjoy the rest of my life traveling, and generally doing things I haven't been able to do, but which I've always wanted to do. I recently heard through the gossip vine that my daughter tried to start litigation against me shortly after I sold and left but it fell through, as everything was in my name now. She now wants to meet me and is pressuring her lackeys to contact me and make me meet her. I said no. I don't understand why she did that, because it was all going to be hers anyway. They don't know where I am presently, and I'd prefer to keep it that way. I'm in C with her and Sill, and don't have social media except for Reddit. Ida?